Welcome to the weekend shave, to the Sunday shave. And uh, as always, how are you doing? How has your week been? And I hope you're in good health. Now I'm really excited today. Um, I was sent uh, some samples from uh, Jenny in the US of A, Jenny Martin, and uh, her from Mason Boutique which is her business and the samples arrived and one I, as soon as I opened it I was thrilled to bits because when I smelt it I thought god that smells good I'll show you the, there's a little sample there TLM and it's teakwood leather and mahogany and there is hints of basil and lemongrass so you can smell other things in it but to my nose and to my palate leather I it might be weird <laughs> I love the smell of leather um, I had a knife made for me by um, Jack Law Knives uh, Wiltshire Man on YouTube and the sheath the knife came in oh the leather smell I just love it and this is the same scent. If you like leather, I love to go into somewhere that makes leather products and the smell is always, it could be just me maybe, but <laughs> oh, I was chuffed a bit. So, before we go into the shave, what we're gonna use, we have three colors of roses, um, or rosebuds, as Mrs. H says. So let's take a close up of them. That's the uh, roses. Now, what razor are we going to use? I'm going to use the Merca Progress. And um, good way to it, good long handle uh, twist. It's not a twist to open, it's a twist at the bottom and takes the head off. Now you have to be careful with this one. It's lined up properly, which I've done many times not properly. Astra green that is brand new Astra green I thought I'd use that for a change so I'm just going to set this up um, yes correctly right, all the way down and then we go to I think I'll go to setting two and a half because it goes up to five uh, five plus but I'll go to two and a half nice gentle there is a slight overhang of the blade but not much um, a nice gentle uh, shave hopefully so that's the razor we're going to use. We're going to use obviously the Mason Boutique um, Teakwood Leather and Mahogany. Fantastic scent. And I'll say this, um, not many soaps do this. And I'm not paid to say this by the way, this is my own opinion. Uh, people know that I will say if it's good or bad. For me anyway. That's the, so it's like a crope. Uh, quite a, it's not soft, it's not a cream, but it's not a hard puck, it's an in-between. I took the lid off this earlier on and this bathroom smelt of leather. Superb. <laughs> Using the Paul H Badger brush, as you can see there. And I'm using the um, Captain's Choice uh, lather bowl. Now, I soaked the brush. I did not bloom the soap. I just put, you know, a couple of sort of like a pea size in here. And look what we've got. Oh, for goodness sake. And a good test for the scent is I went to Mrs. H. I said, what does that smell like? Your shoes. <laughs> I said, yeah. I said, leather. So fantastic, realistic scent. I'm thrilled a bit. Right, I can't wait to start. So we'll see 
it lathers up fantastically. It smells wonderful, so we'll see how it performs. I can't believe this scent. It's weird to you maybe, but I just love anything leather. Oh, got a piece there. Don't waste it. And hopefully you can see this. Now I tried to um, go to the website I was given but I come up with some brush guy or something website so what I'm going to do is I'll put a link to Jenny's Etsy that's the only thing I can come up with um, her Etsy shop and her Facebook and uh, I'll also put I get a lot of people asking about Mrs H would she appear in the videos uh, very doubtful she might do a one-off one day Christmas and I don't know but um, I'll put a link to Mrs H's Facebook as well she does a lot on Facebook so you'd better go in over there and so far this is superb and this brush is lovely badger brush look at that how does it perform I'll tell you now well after a pass or two lovely oh that's a nice setting for that blade must remember that oh I can smell that come on <laughs> oh hey is it a man thing leather and No pressure on the razor or in life. Good razor this for not clogging up. Oh, I tell you, this is, um, by the way, I've had two, um, this one, T, TLM and Bobcat and they're new releases by Jenny so, and they're handmade uh, and I've said this before, I always find that not talking when you're doing your bottom lip bit is safe <laughs> um, Artisan Soap makers, small businesses, put far more, I don't know, hours and hours and quality into soaps and whatever they make. Um, and it's, it's lovely. Right. I, I tell you, this room smells of, I can't believe it. It's like when you have when I did the tale of old Bond Street grapefruit it's so realistic and it's fantastic and if you're watching this Jenny you've hit this spot on for um, leather for my palate anyway for my nose like walking into a leather shop and that's fantastic Yes, leather. I'm obsessed with leather. <laughs> right, second pass. Sorry, brother. Get a bit excited. Right, here we go. Now, performance. Uh, the soap lathers very quickly without being bloomed, so that's a good thing. And it performs, gives a performance, it's lovely, it gives good protection during the shave. And then we'll give it a slickness test in a minute. 
I would have been very disappointed if this wasn't good. Uh, especially with it smelling so good. Um, but so far, everything is as it should be. So thank you Jenny for this. It's, it's a delight to use. Nice surprise that, because I didn't expect. I didn't know what I was getting, so thank you so much. Uh, I got a feeling if people like the leathery scents and you're going <laughs> to sell well with this. Right, I'm just going to do a slickness test here. So how's your week been? I hope you're okay. Right, let's try this. Wow, fantastic slickness. Yeah, lovely. Leaves a nice sheen. Right then. I've made too much here. And I only put a bit in. And I'm using this is a badger brush, so it's a soft knot. Um, obviously, if you use a bore with a slightly stiffer knot, it'll um, it'll really dig in. And... Oh, hey, in it. It's like some walking into a well, a leather shop. I can't believe it. It's just. If you don't like leather, you'd hate it, obviously. <laughs> wow, amazing. How you can get that scent leather. Right then, off we go. Oh, going the wrong way, really. This is against the growth for me, up to about there. Good slickness, yeah. Wow. Under here. Great. You see, I wasn't going to use this yet. I've got other products I want to use and try. Um, but as soon as I smelt that, I thought, <laughs> I can't wait for this. Um, oh, I don't know, it's, it's fantastic. Right, I think I'm going to do something now, which I don't normally do. I'm going to up, not much left, but I'm going to up this to, th where's the mark, three, three and a half. We'll go up a stage and see how good it is. Oh, I didn't show you, did I? You can see it. If you like my eyes, you're terrible. Can you see that? Three by five, there's the dot. Right. Well, I think winter's with us now, it's getting that cold nip in the air, although we've had some lovely sort of autumnal summy, summy sun, sunny days. Really nice. Just wipe the it's 
So, uh, Merca Progress, obviously adjustable razor, uh, can be aggressive. You can feel the blade. If you shave lightly, it's not a problem. And uh, people often ask, how do you compare it to the Merca Future? You can't. Merca Future on setting one, its mildest would be more aggressive than this on setting five plus. Uh, to me, it's just same firm, but. Uh, it would be like trying to compare an Aston Martin with a, a Ford Fiesta, which is a little family car, you can do it. Um, pick up time. <laughs> Go on then, I know, I know. <laughs> Here, that's nothing there. Oh, there you are. Now I like my lather quite thick and creamy but you add water to this and you're going to be in um, lather heaven I think. It's, uh, wow. That's a really comfortable 2.5, 2.5 Astra Green, brand new. For me, is a fantastic setting. It's just one of those you don't want it to end. Lovely, just just right. Um, I stepped it up to three, three and a half now, and you can feel the slight difference, but still very, very comfortable. I caught it somewhere, but um, just a tiny. Just under that jawline there, that's the... If you have a struggle there, do that. Superb. Absolutely superb. Right, rinse off. I think... Oh, that's lovely and slick. I think I've matched cologne for this. Well one came to my mind which I thought would be a good match. Look at that. But before that we're going to use Thayer's Unscented. What are we having for Sunday dinner? Well this week no irritation there at all. It's going to be um, duck breasts roasted skin on. Potatoes, Yorkshire pudding, carrots, um, peas. Oh, mushy peas, I think. I'll do mushy peas this week. And um, all they are is peas gone with the water, gone mushy. Beautiful. And um, of course, gravy. Lashentos of gravy. <laughs> right. Which hazel. Now then, what do you think of this? I've bottled this. This is Pin Out Clubman Special Reserve. Go on. <laughs> hey. Ooh, hey, we're talking. We're talking leather. We're talking classic barber shop. Any tingling? Oh, just a bit, just a. <laughs> Paul, yeah, you're a genius when it comes to matching things. Oh, thanks very much. Oh, hey. That is fantastic. We need to put the protection back. This is 
very inexpensive body lotion for sensitive skin but the reason I'm using it is for them words there fragrance free and this only costs one British pound maybe just over now but it will last and last and it's good stuff you don't have to pay big money this good stuff does the job really nice and I can smell the leather and I can smell a special reserve and that's what I wanted and in fact I'm going to leave this next door where I edit the videos and my little office if you like whatever my little studio I'm going to leave that open and it'll smell like a leather shop fantastic <laughs> Lovely. So thanks Jenny. And I put as I say I put the link to um the Etsy shop she has for these sort of things and her Facebook and you can contact her there. The that's that's the card there. Um that website when I typed that in it came up with brush guy or something, so I'm not gonna put that in, I'm gonna put the in case it's wrong. Could be right, it could be the same firm, I don't know. But anyway, we'll go over what we've used. Merca Progress. Adjustable razor. Um, good, solid, well-built razor. Look, I like the back of it. Look at the back of the blade there, the head. Solid. Um, aggressive, it can be. I had it on a mid-range aggression for me. Some people think this is aggressive, whatever it's on. But it depends how you what your skin's like, what your beard's like. Um, but for me personally, two, it's, it is aggressive on the higher settings, but um, two and a half with an Astra green in it was superb, very comfortable and a nice enjoyable shave, ideal for a Sunday. Uh, slight overhang on the blade, but no issues whatsoever. Very clean, very smooth, a bit of a blip blop there, but... Uh, no worries, use the Paul H Films Badger Brush. Superb, lathered this up fantastically. Uh, it's like a crope, as I say. A little, um, all I'll say is, if you like leather, you'll love this. Performance, it lathered up quickly. No blooming, you can see the lather. Um, the performance during the shave was superb, giving me good protection. And that waft of leather, <laughs> I'm so being sick of hearing leather. Um, and good slickness after the soap's been taken off by the razor. I add water and I can tell straight away the slickness, superb. So you've got yourself a good soap there, Jenny. And this is one of the new lines, I think, amongst others, but really good. Keep it there. Well done, I hope you do well with it. Um, and then, rinsed off with water, we used the Thayer's Unscented, good product again. And um, the Pinout Clubman Special Reserve Cologne, classic, old fashioned, oh, heaven. And then Tesco, I have to, I have to bring it down by it. <laughs> Tesco, body lotion, only a pound. I'm not snobby, if it works, it works. And oh, that's good stuff. And that is me very happy, very happy with that. Oh, fantastic. Little surprises like that, I love it when I don't expect something. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic weekend, whatever's left of it, and uh, a good start to next week um, when I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. So thanks to Mrs. H. So check the description um, Mason Boutique, Mrs. H's Facebook, and Jenny's Facebook. And um, you take care of yourselves, have some great shaves, and uh, yeah, I hope everything is fantastic for you. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you Wednesday for the midweek shave.